fish. Nothing quite like a Sunday fishing trip. Basically. Oh, fuck. Not even a nibble. No, that was my own fault. No, so there wasn't a nibble. Blink. Receive sardine. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I kind of need them. More sardines for your troubles? But perhaps a sardine will also give a shork. Maybe if you put a this sardine. Guy's, this guy's coming to judge your fishing. It's like, hmm, damn, we actually caught something. Good day. Can you imagine? You just put a sardine on your line and that's what attracts the shark. That is what it, That is how you, you put sardine on the line and you can fish up a shark. Oh. And the worst part though is I have to go back and get more logworms. Remember how when you were fishing here before all you were catching were blowfish? Yeah. And I need one more. He only needs five. Seven. I have six now. A random number. If you're ready to get. Come back. Then again, really thinking about why games decided that five and ten were kind of like increments of five were how we calculate what, what how many of something we needed. The best baby. So we have queen and baby boy? Yes. I see. My son and... Yeah. Mm, sardine. Blunk. Fish. I need literally one. <laughs> yeah. The game can sense it. <sighs> Whatever this one is, it's putting up a one hell of a fight. Maybe it's a shark. Oh. I'm gonna be really fucking annoyed if I have to go back and buy more bait. Sardine. Sardine. It's really cool. I think it's super fucking cool. Look at all this sardine. If you're ready to get at least lugworms cheap. Yeah. I promised more main story stuff, so I wanna finish this up and then I was just gonna say, it'd be really cool if you could get like random fish from those kind of deposits. Yeah. But no. Mm. Mm. I kind of prefer fishing minigames where just paying attention is all you need to do and not this, not the struggling part. Yeah. Lavish. Blowfish. Old man, here is your blowfish. Zoom. Zooming too hard. I got the fine work. Well, rest. 
Here is my secret technique. Technique. By the way, word. Technique. Huh? I'm eating them. What else? Oh. You own. You are but a young tadpole, though. You only completed part two of my many part <laughs> journey. Literally. How many parts does he have? Ten. Jesus. Those boots don't look like they'd be fun if, if to like to get water out of. Can you imagine just walking around and like up, basically up to your knees as it's just wet. <laughs> no more fishing. Not for now. I'm too annoyed. Hey, stop it. I mean, I'd also be a little concerned if sharks were easy to catch, though. Yeah, It's just more just annoying. It's like you make them a... You know. Just imagine you throw a sardine on your line and all of a sudden you hook jaws. <laughs> you hook a Meg. Shut up, Meg. I'm not gonna lie, that's the exact thought I had in my head. Yeah, sa uh, same. <laughs> Even though I know I was thinking Megalodon. But Peter be like, oh, no good, throw it back. You got the maximum of medicine. 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 But you must go forth and see the child. Yana. Yana. Throwing yourself to the ground. Mm. How else do you get places fast? You have to give yourself momentum by throwing yourself. Basically. Dorcas bec could become a wheel of a truck. What? How much spinning does, maybe? Uh, yeah. You have a spare tire for your truck? Oh yeah, just like grabs the kid out of the trunk and then hooks him up to the wheel. Eat the child. I mean, you see protagonist, I'm seeing a wheel. You know what we should also do before we go see Yana? What's that? Save. <laughs> Give her the, like... Because we haven't saved in, like, 45 minutes. <laughs> Given that the concept of saving in this game is you were, like, basically sending a letter to Yona. It was kind of sad to use the mailbox right outside your door, though. Yeah. Hi, Yana. I'm right outside. See you soon. <laughs> Popola said you needed. Yeah. What is it? Um, I can't help if you don't. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep. I have a friend. Seriously? A pen pal. How delightful. <laughs> Says the Who literal flying friend? paper. Literally. Um, he. It's a guy. Yes. It's a guy. I see. Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south. And he's super so you have to help him. Yona. Please. Great. Now what do I do? Fine. Yay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank. Well, we're gonna make our way there anyway. Great. Something amiss, lad. No, it isn't. <laughs> Overprotective. Kind of like the conversation Weiss has with Papa Nier in this one. So you were talking to your your future son-in-law. We are not having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Protective older brother syndrome. Like I like that with my siblings too. When my one of my younger sisters brought home her first boyfriend, 
they like came to hang out with me in my room for a bit, play games and stuff. And I said to them, I was like, listen, if you hurt my little sister, I'm going to break your fucking knees. You just imagine Dorcas just like, I just want to talk to him. I and just, just slowly pulls out the sword. <laughs> exactly. I just want to slice him. I just want to talk to him. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oi! Yeah, fucking cheeky cunts. Big Lad is also there. No. Big Lad? Big Lad. Big beefy boy. He is a big beefy boy. Wait, do shades have beef? These creatures, let us dispatch them without complaint. And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? It is hardly what one would call especially fertile ground. That man has a shield. The word. Hody. I'm Woody. Hody, Hody, Hody. It's been a long time since I've seen, seen Toy Story. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've... Well, okay. I was about to say, it's been a long time since I've watched a movie, but then I remembered the Mario movie that really came out like two or three months ago, so... How was it? It was great. I mean... Now, it, like, was it actually great, or is okay. it the... I'm going to obviously say that it's about as, it's about as story-heavy as any typical Mario game is, so it's obviously not supposed to be a plot-heavy game, or movie, but I think what drives it so much is all the little callbacks and references that it makes. I personally did very much enjoy it because I was constantly like look, sitting there like, oh boy, look at all these little cool little references. And it was funny. Was it plot great? Not really. But Nintendo has never really been that kind of company where it's like even my Miyamoto believes that story is not always necessary. So I'm just saying. Miyamoto like, believes story is not necessary. Hmm? See, Me that not pisses story me off is not a necessary. lot. <laughs> like, like, because I'm somebody, like, especially given the fact that I, like, I write, I try to write stories and stuff, and, you know, it makes me mad when people are like, oh yeah, a story isn't necessary for stuff, but it's like, but it kind of is, well, in order to keep point. a narrative, exactly, and to keep a narrative going, like... It just... Like, if you want to be so focused on your gameplay, don't make an adventure game. Well, that was the thing. Like, apparently... I've read somewhere, I can't remember where at this point, but I remember reading, like, Twilight Princess for, you know, Legend of Zelda was supposed to have, like, a, a, a very deep, like, almost like a Lord of the Rings type, type of epic. Not as fleshed out, yeah. but, like, it was trying to go for that big epic adventure and scale and everything. And they and the team said after Miyamoto saw it, he basically told them to tear two thirds of the story out. That's a fucking spider. That's a fucking spider. It's, and there's a shade just watching you. Oh, there's multiple shades. Yeah, they snuck. They snuck. Gibby. Look, I like honestly. I very much enjoy a story in my games, especially if it's going to be an adventure game. Or I feel like it is kind of necessary. Like, okay, sure, your new, your 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 two D platformers don't need a story. You're literally back and forth, going from point A to point B, hitting the top of flagpole, and then wash, rinse, repeat for like eight freaking worlds. I don't care if the, your your two D platformer doesn't have a story. You're gonna notice something here. It's gray. Yeah. yeah. All the color's gone. We have been waiting, please. Write this. I think Goose is dreaming. He's snoring. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a little baby. I don't think the mic will pick up his snores, though. Huh? I don't think the mic will pick up his snores. Oh, I hope so. That would be lovely if it did. He does little sneeze, mm -hmm. Matt. He's gray. He's no color. I just want Interesting to say... interior design. You need to talk to the butler. You're not allowed to explore without the butler. Yeah, very interesting choice of interior design here. Yes, I, I like the rustic. Um, hasn't seen a, hasn't seen thick, see, hasn't been fixed in three centuries. Look. I like blocking There's your a... only way up. With debris. There's a what? I don't think there's anything on this side, is there? Just need to see. 
I don't know if there's a mailbox in this place. Please wait here. My master will be with you momentarily. Is there a ghost involved? This looks like a ghost. This definitely looks like ghost. Kitchen is gray. Oh, actually, no, the kitchen being gray is not that hard to believe. No. Kitchens are usually white, gray, something like that. Maybe a little bit of silver in there. Yeah. If they were feeling extra fancy, there's gonna be some black. <laughs> Darkness. I do not like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared? <laughs> just let the light jog, just. <laughs> All I want is a fucking save point. Just because I don't want to lose any progress. We have to go back and see Kaine. Eh. Best girl. Hearing Sorry. his little sneeze. Yeah, the little snores out of him. Oh, that's the kitchen. Yeah. Perhaps there is. I think you have to go back and see Kaine. Why does no one listen to me? Because you're a I fool, Vice. I don't believe you said anything about the mansion being haunted. I mean, we kind of picked that up, but... No, we just got... He doesn't like being here. Look, it's the other side. Yeah. with this area is the movement speed. And the camera angles. Yeah. Seems like it's just like throwing you for a loop every single time it changes and it goes from like, oh, going up is going up to going up is going down. Yeah. But do I have to go looking for Kanye to find this block, the save point? Yeah. There's nothing on this side of the building. Um, stuff like this doesn't bother me as much just because I've played games with tank controls and I've kind of gotten used to the... Yeah. I just like don't love the weird control stuff. It's not bad, it's just not my favorite. Back out the weird doors. At least with like actual tank controls, like pressing up will always have your character moving forward. Regardless of where they're facing. But that's because you have to actually manually turn them. Yeah. So wasn't the OG Resident Evil like this? Sort of. You can only go through the one door. Yeah. What's this? Oh no, the picture changed. Now they are old and decrepit. Yeah. 
Look at all them statues. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Bucks. Ah yes. <laughs> the hidden items tutorial. <laughs> the moon key. <laughs> Look at us go. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode today, guys. I'm really sorry. Yes. Vice, you are a book. Why do you have to be scared of I was going to say, what the fuck is the fucking book afraid of? Honestly. Shades. What foul hole did they come from? I mean, they literally materialize. So I don't know what hole they would need to come out of. Fictionary. You... You guys know that the word wrong is spelled wrong in the dictionary? It was. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No one of these ways there's a weapon. Spotter! See, I'd scream if that happened. If you have a spider that big. Especially in a place like this? Ah, uh, no thank you. The baby boy. My son. You're a male. Young. Not even twenty. My son. My precious boy. Emil is my child, and I will not tolerate either Emil or Kanye slander in my home. Again, have not played these games. Have no right to slander anyway. Good. Emil is just a sweet baby boy. It's not hard once you then I suppose I should tell you about I I Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land. You're a but book. Of this introductory chatter. My name is Emil. I'm the master of So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. The child wishes to speak more. Yeah. Stay back. Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at, get, that's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about Meal the letters. confirmed so as this Gorgon. Can unlock any door in the uh, also confirmed so as baby. Baby no, Gorgon. Please. Don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our... Oh, right. Sure. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the... Ma Let me at least give you a map. It's a big... It's not that big. Vice, what should we do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez, remind me to never get on your bad side. Is this the way we came from? No, we came from the other way. Was there any other doors we passed on the way here? Not really. He just gave you the darkness key, right? Oh, the star key. Oh, then yeah, we can't go back that way. Use the star key. You must find the darkness key. What? A butler. I knew this was a trap. A trap? What? The advice is getting a little paranoid. And one of the rooms I know has a weapon in it, and we can't come back and get it later. Somebody. Anybody. Nothing. What? Say it, that is a chair. <laughs> what? Ah! 
No, that's booby. Boo. Small space like this too. Yeah. I like that. That's real. I like the uh, the options that they give you. Nope. Just blood. The spider. No, spider was on the way you needed to go. Oh. Was he? Yeah. Yeah, you're going back upward now. I hate these controls. Nope, spider is gone. There's an item on the desk. A key. Oh, tear? Me. I hope they don't mind if we're staining the mansion a little bit. I'm sure the butler needs something to do. Oh jeez, this room. <laughs> the no, sink that... is filled with blood. That's fair enough. With blood. Don't love that. <laughs> That's a big nope. For that master. I mean, he literally looked like he was possessed I for a bit there. I think it's a robot. My sister received some mm, yes. I wrote those letters. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by... He suffers greatly behind that blindfold. Oh, that's and right, you have to go down into the, the lab as well. Later, after the time skip. So I sent... But I received you know, a to go down to the library. Yeah. So Jonas that's probably where the safe point is. <laughs> My this is gonna be a really long episode. I'm so sorry. I saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you. I see. I'm yes, quite intrigued well, by this area. We, or at least this like Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas, the location of the cure has become a. I beg of you, defeat. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well. Time. It's okay. See here, lad. This is not. People need to look out for each other, Vice. And plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. A thousand uh, thank yous. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests. Are you sure you can't you know, get the weapon on the revisit? I'm really sure. We've gone into all of these rooms, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But hey, at least I can petrify your enemies. That's got to be some help, right? I would I say yes. Do this on your Wait. Own. That so was towards right Emil's room. Me. Maybe my eyes can be useful for once. <laughs> weapon you're looking for is right before the boss. Okay. Shades. Many spikes. There's a statue of a man. 
you have a shade. Mm. It's gone. Good. Okay. No, I don't need that door. No, I need the one on the far end. The other um, way. The other way. Nope, keep going. I hate these controls. This one. That one, you. Bless you. Shades. Rocks. Shades turn into rocks. Oh my goodness, my baby lemon. He's just doing a wake. Yeah? <laughs> Dreaming? No, he... Oh, he went back to sleep. Oh my love. Disturbing dream, not enough trouble. The blade of treachery. Uh, the blade of treachery. Good at backstabs. Is just something else because I look by looks of it. Oh, look, the save point. You know what's really good, guys? Then we can end this episode. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in a sec. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>